FM to get started. Good morning and welcome. This is Pastor Lucy Pinter with your daily insight. And yesterday we started a topic that is interesting about the prayer closet. And Jesus said that when you pray, enter into your closet and when you have shut your door, pray to thy father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret shall reward you openly. And we are dealing with what happens in that prayer closet. It's not about what is going on out there in the public. It is between you and the Father. And David is giving us a, a snippet of his own prayer closet in Psalm 66, verse 16 to 20. And that will be our main text this week. He says, come and listen, all you who fear God. And I will tell you what he did for me, for I cried out to him for help, praising him as I spoke. And then he says, if I had not confessed the sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God did listen. He paid attention to my prayer. Praise God, who did not ignore my prayer or withdraw his unfailing love from me. So David comes up in the open and he shares what happened. And he says, there is one thing that is very important. If I did not confess my sin, then the Lord would not have listened to my prayer. He would not have paid attention to my prayer. But I was, I was, I was led to confess my sin. And so we started dealing and talking about the cause of unconfessed sin. And we said yesterday that David used this word regard and to regard is to think or perceive. And if you missed that section, uh, please uh, listen to prayer closet day one and you will hear what it was all about, how we regard sin. And then today I want us to talk about the other part of what causes unconfessed sin. And that is uh acceptance we said we talked about the acceptance of sin which is the regard and today we are going to talk about the other part agreement with sin so after you have accepted the sin you have willingly accepted and, and it's not that you stumbled upon it you've accepted the sin then you come into agreement with sin so this word regard informs us that the unconfessed sin is caused by an acceptance of sin but also by an agreement with sin it is to respect to gaze upon or to approve it is about the idea of knowing that it is here it is there yet you allow the sin to remain there and the fact of the matter is that if unconfessed if unconfessed is accepted and not dealt with it will soon or later be agreed with and approved of. And that is why you find that somebody will sin today and then repent today and by and by it becomes habitual. Eventually it becomes a norm. It's no big deal. No big deal. They can they they, they get to the level that they, it's no longer something to confess about. They agree with that sin. And this is a hindrance in the prayer closet. And I was reading, uh, a while ago I was reading something and I read about uh, this man who was drunk and he came home one day drunk and had gotten into a fight in the pub and he decided to pull a fast one on his wife. So he went to the bathroom and bandaged the bumps and the bruises he had received in the fight. And then he went to bed smiling and thinking, okay, I fooled my wife. He wouldn't even know about it. And in the morning, he, he, wake, he opened his eyes and the wife was standing right there. And she shouted, you were drunk last night, were you? And he said, no, honey, uh, uh, you know, I wasn't drunk. But she said, well, if you are not drunk, 
who put all those bad aids on the bathroom mirror? So this guy, in his drunkenness, he thought he was bandaging himself, yet he was bandaging the image on the mirror. And sometimes that is how we are. We become so comfortable with sin that we can do whatever we have to do to cover it up. Instead of confessing, we agree with the sin and we make it part of us. That is a danger. So we need to address that issue if we want to have the sweet, intimate fellowship that we need to have in the prayer closet, in the prayer closet. So it is important for us to deal with the unconfessed sin. Let us understand the causes of this unconfessed sin. Number one is acceptance. You accept the sin. And number two, the agreement with the sin. And this is not the way it should be. Let us let us reject all ungodliness, anything that can lead us into sin. We need to reject it so that we can enjoy the sweet presence of the Lord. You know, when God invited Moses through the burning bush experience, one of the things that you realize is that when God, when Moses answered and said, yes, here I am, the first thing that God told Moses is take off your shoes. This place is holy. And Moses went on ahead, obeyed, and took off his shoes. So when we're talking about the the prayer closet, we are talking about approaching the throne of God. And we know that he is a holy God. And David is saying, if I had not confessed my sins, if I had just stayed and said, okay, I'll be fine, you know. Uh, I don't need to confess my sins. Then we will miss out. There are people who are missing out because of unconfessed sin. Let us not be part of those that are missing out because of unconfessed sin. We need to quit accepting sin and and thinking it's the norm. We need to stop agreeing with sin and just confess it. Because the Bible says that if we confess, he is faithful and just to forgive. Let us become uncomfortable with the sin and refuse to settle with it because it says, the Bible says, if according to our text, that after David confessed the sin, what happens? The Lord had his prayer. He paid attention to his prayer. Praise God who did not ignore my prayer or withdraw his unfailing love from me. We all want God to hear our prayer. We all want to experience the unfailing love of God. In as much as we are living in the dispensation of grace, I believe there is much more if we make sure that in our life there is no unconfessed sin. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insight and this is Prayer Closet Day 2.